Well, today we gotta climb that hill. You can't really. This is Bernard. He's yodeling. It's a bit dark. <laughs> Yodla! <laughs> wow. Is that good? So, yep, today and further, 19 point something K. Is that okay? No. No? We've just come to the top of a hill. Do you remember what it's called, this hill? It's where the Milky Way meets the Tyrant. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, actors with flatulence. <laughs> That's another way to put it. Exactly. <laughs> Well, I just went up a very big hill and down a very big hill and my knees, this knee, very sore. Um, I think everyone's passed me, apart from little Bernard. Um, yeah, um, don't have much in my pack today, so that's pretty good. It's 10.14. Yeah, it was interesting just now, finding my own pace, going gently down the hill. Actually, it was quite nice to take it slow. And I can afford to today because there's only 19k. So, I'm in... Where am I? Um, I'm, I'm one city before Puente La Rena. One city, one town, I should say. And it is called Obana. I just met Tyron and he's moved on and um, found that my foot is going, my big toe is a bit white and lifeless, numb. <laughs> oh, and look in here, I don't know if you, you probably can't see, but inside my shoes are sanitary napkins. Apparently it's a trick to keep moisture out of your shoes. Um, Anyway, I think I did my boots up too tight. But look at that amazing church. Incredible. So I walked with a very nice um, Irish Englishman. He's an Irish man, but he's lived in England for 45 years. And he did the trek two years ago. And cut his head open. <laughs> fell over and decided to... Um, he did something else too his knee or something. Anyway, he decided to... Oh, well, he had to stop. And then he went down and he finished it, the walk another time last year and this year he's hoping to do the whole thing in one go. But um, he was telling me that somebody died last week on the crossing that first pass we did on day one from St. jean pierre de Port to Bonson Baris. Anyway, people are looking at me oddly. I'm talking to myself. Um, so, I've only got a couple of K to go. Tying up my shoes. Um, what thoughts was I having on the road down here? I was thinking how to start writing a, a book. Um, and I thought, where will I begin? I'll begin... I'll begin talking about, I'll begin when I began, when I was playing Rita and educating Rita with Mark Owen Taylor. 
and because um, that was the first time I, I had blanked on stage but then I thought no I'll go back to India where I went and stayed in Sai Baba's ashram <laughs> God, that was full on. And then got sick with Guardia, which is maybe the whole beginning of my journey health-wise. And spiritually as well, because my health has made me look into all sorts of different beliefs and things. Anyway, so maybe I should start my story going to India. And then... Yeah, I think that's where I began. You could tell the story of the thousand different things I've tried to get well, and the seminars, and the weird people I've met, and the books I've read, and the places I've been, and to end up here, in the middle of Spain, hoping I finish this trek. Apparently, tons of people don't finish it. And then that man I was just speaking to said to me, that he heard that Shirley MacLaine only walked for a couple of hours every day and then stayed in a beautiful caravan every night. <laughs> I don't think she did. She couldn't have. Anyway, he reckoned she didn't do the walk. Um, that can't be true. I don't believe that. Would Shirley lie to us? Surely not. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can buy some cans of soup or something over at this little shop over here. Because my pack's very light, because somebody's transported most of the contents to my to their hostel, if I stay there. So I might buy some food, because the food, the Pilgrim's menu, is expensive every night. And it's chips with overcooked chicken or overcooked meat, or, and that's it. No, I haven't seen anything green and no fruit, um, ice cream and cake and carbohydrates, heaps of bread. I've eaten so much bread. I'm gaining muscle, I'm sure, but I'm also getting fat. Wow. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Get to the hostel, take off my shoes for the rest of the day. That'll be good. Maybe prepare my own food. Okay. I'm in, um, where am I? Puente de Lorena. I'm in a church. It's amazing. It's all gold and brick. I can't find my hostel. It's got my bag. I find my hostel in my bag. <laughs> 